back in Remnant from the Ashes, back in Ward 13 again, after our latest annoying excursion out into a boss fight, which was the Harrow. Very annoying boss fight. Did not enjoy it at all. What now? Let's see what we can make from that. Yeah. Better be worth my time. We can make a defiler, which is a weapon that fires a volley of six radioactive projectiles. It's a it's a weapon. It looks like. I mean, let's just go ahead and make it. Sure, why not? Another radioactive weapon. You're done here. So it's basically worthless. Oh, Traveler. Certainly. Um... The Defiler. I can't tell if it's a... Take care, my friend. I can't tell if it's a one-hand weapon or a... Okay, it is a one-hand weapon. Well, it's... I mean, it's... It does... Terrible. I mean, what is the point of it? What is the point of it? My repeater pistol is clearly better, yeah, so why why would I switch? Certainly. Fires faster and has a larger magazine, so not changing that. Gonna upgrade it two more times to plus ten. And let's go to our armor. Upgrade the britches to plus five, the duster to plus five, and the twisted mask to plus five. And we could actually upgrade them further, but I'm gonna upgrade my coach gun to plus ten. Maybe someday I'll figure out a situation where I could use that. Be safe out there. Yeah, whatever. It's... Keep moving. I'll be whatever out there. There's no being safe out there. It's nothing but bad stuff everywhere out here. Nothing but badness. All right, let's go back. And I think, I think my next goal to go through that gigantic uh, big big door thing. Apparently I've killed enough enemies that I can open the door with the little rune monuments next to them. So we'll see how that goes. If this loading screen will ever stop. Slime vessel. Alright, so we need to go. Whoa! I got the wrong weapon. I didn't really want to fight you guys. I'll be honest. I didn't feel any compelling. Fight you guys. Didn't really want to start my day by Ooh, that was rough. fighting those guys. I was just trying to get back out over here. You know, I got some sort of account-wide thing by petting this dog, but I'm not sure what I got. <sighs> Welcome back, friend. How can I serve you today? What do you need, friend? I forgot what you sell. All I have is yours to consider. What do you have? You have heavy water. I don't have any money left, so... Do return safely. Never mind. What has everything you need? 
Very good. This is the door that I feel like I might be able to open now. Although it doesn't really look like it's ready to be opened. Let's see what happens. Oh, I have a howling key now. I did get something. Oh, I should have read what its description was. I didn't even see. Okay. Is something happening? Oh, the door is opening. I see now. Well. We did it. What new horrible things await us beyond this massive door? We will soon find out. A checkpoint. That's what awaits us. Nice. Hey, we're in the Undying Throne. This is where we're supposed to be, I think. Hello? I think I'm supposed to talk to somebody here? The Hall of the Undying. Hello? Oh. Hello? I don't remember why I'm here, but I'm here. sought an audience with me. A pity, really. He wasted his time with the foolish Akari when he could have learned from I who have witnessed centuries. For example, I know exactly what you seek. You do? Child, I have spent an age and an age meditating on the true nature of things. I have seen the patterns the motifs in this symphony of the world. Your home has been overrun by the Guari. The Roots, you call them. We hold that in common. They are the only true enemy. You require salvation. And I have the key. This key will not take you where you want. Rather, where you must go. It knows your salvation even better than you. What do you want for it? Ah, you are wiser than you look. I should warn you, the key is not safe. It has led many to untimely ends. Regardless, I offer an exchange, a favor in good faith. There is a world, vibrant, primordial, untouched by the Guarae yet infested by corrupted cattle. These inhabitants revere above all else a particular beast. Bring me the beast's heart. Oh. I... I have more questions. You waste much time. What is this beast that you need its heart? No. Oh. Was that not clear? Their beast guards their world, as our guardian once protected ours. Why do you need the heart? Our world, much like yours, 
is without a guardian. You of all people know what the Guari can do to such a world. As our planet heals, so increases the certainty that the Guari will return. The beast's heart will allow us to forge our guardian anew. I saved this world once through fire. It is unlikely to survive another such baptism. Without a guardian, all on this world will perish. What happens to their world once I take the beast's heart? Surely you are not so naive as that. Yes, without a guardian, they will be vulnerable to the Guari, as we are now. The strong survive, child. That is how it is. Always. You will never save your world if you cling to compassion. What were you bathing in when I arrived? The liquid nourishes me as it has for centuries. It is mine and mine alone. I'm sure you understand. What are the root? Do you know? A scourge and a parasite driven by a single mind. Like a disease, they absorb what they can and destroy what they cannot until all that is left is the root. They are... Efficient. I grant them that. I cannot fault their strength, though I hope to overcome it. How did the Root invade your world? How do they invade any world? They found a weakness and exploited it. A rift was created. Legions of Guari surged forth. I believe the same happened to your world. The root are relentless, if somewhat uh, unimaginative. Well, okay, here's my problem. I feel like if I refuse to get this heart f for you, then I'm basically making a choice whether I want to save their world or this world. So if I get the heart for you, I'll be saving this world while sacrificing that world. Now, I don't know anything about that world. But I do know that you aren't that great of a guy if you're willing to just destroy this other world to save yours. I mean, I get self-preservation and all that, but that just seems kind of bad. So, I'm thinking that if I refuse to get the heart for them, I'm going to have to kill you and then take your heart and take it to them to save their world to continue my quest. So either way, I'm going to have to go to their world to continue my quest. It's just a matter of whether I kill them, the big boss on their side, or kill the big boss here now. That's what I think is going to happen. So I'm going to refuse to get the heart for you. So make a long story short, I'm not going to get that heart for you. How terribly uninteresting. For your sake, I will assume you still intend to retrieve it. No, yeah, you'll never have the beast's heart. Arrogant child, you shall see why they call me undying. Attend to me, Veer. There is an intruder in our midst. I know. Oh, I'm carrying the wrong weapon. Okay. He's got little ice crystal thingies. Oh, wow, look, there's a bunch of them. Uh, I'm in trouble. Heal, 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 heal. Keep moving. Whoa! Wow, that hurt. Well, I think I was correct in my in my guess. Oh, I'm back here now. Do I 
Do I get to do that again, though? I hope so. Let's see if I can switch up my rings. Evasion window. Put the heel ring back on. Reduces range damage. That actually sounds pretty useful. So we'll do that. Alright, well, we'll keep keep fighting this dude. Just, do we keep doing this over and over again? Is he just going to keep attacking us? Oh, we have to keep doing the dialogue? Seriously? Have you the heart? For your sake, they will assume you still intend to retrieve it. I'm... I'm not getting that hard for you. You're weird. How terribly uninteresting. Arrogant child. You shall see why they call me undying. Attend to me, Veer. There is an intruder in our midst. Wow, do I have to do that every single time? Ooh, damn. They're hitting me quite a lot. Why am I not? Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay. Wow. Uh. So once again, as per usual, the boss itself is not that bad. It's just all the harassing ads that they put around the boss that basically makes it impossible to, you know, to do. It just keeps you dodging constantly, so you're constantly depleted on stamina, and you're constantly out of ammunition. It's, you know. Have you the heart? For your sake, how dare So we gotta go through this every single time, huh? That's great. about to say I thought I was doing pretty good but then pff, with the one shot kill all right I'll try this a couple more times but I don't think I'm gonna I mean I feel like I'm gonna have to fight this guy eventually anyway so I might as well get it over with now that's my thinking how few the hearts Although I feel like so wisdom prevail. Whoops. Enter this order with conviction, child. It is the only true weapon you wield. I accidentally hit spacebar on the acceptance. Have you the heart? Uh I'm not gonna get you the heart. How terribly and so, <sighs> Jesus. wisdom prevail. Okay, whatever. I'll go get your stupid heart then, I guess. Never mind. Keep accidentally hitting spacebar on the accept button. I feel like the game was pretty much telling me that I was supposed to... Uh, supposed to do this, whether I wanted to or not. I was thinking maybe I could, you know, save the other world. And... You know, this world looks like it's more worth saving somehow. I don't know why. 
It's greener at least. Still looks kind of sickly though. The fetid glade. Well, I, it does look a bit fetid. Let's see what this place has to offer. I assume we kill everything we see. Oh, they're not dead. I'm here to kill everything I see. Hope you don't mind. I'm here to kill everyone. Hope that's okay with you people. This is cool. You can't see where the walls are, so you don't really know where the boundaries are. The walls just sort of... Who's next? The walls are sort of hard to discern. You guys remind me of some people from Bloodborne. It's unfortunate for you. Oh, it's over. Oh, it's over. What a horrible place this is. Well, I'm kind of glad I didn't... Maybe I didn't really want to, uh... Rescue this place after all. Oh, is this, uh... That looked like a simulacrum. Hey, maybe I should go back and see if I can upgrade my health thing. I never did do that. Next time... Maybe next time. Any reason to go that way? Actually, it looks like that is the way to go. Well, let's go back this way first. Beasties. Okay. Heal, 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 heal. Oh, wow. Oh, that guy's... Quite a bit bigger. Oh, I thought it was dead. What the hell? I thought he killed me. Okay, whatever. I thought he killed me on the first hit, so I just gave up. <laughs> and then I got up again. I was like, what? How'd that happen? I would have sworn I heard the death sound when I got hit. Try. Hey, I have an idea. Let's see if these guys are particularly vulnerable to radiation damage. Oh, maybe they are. Is my beam rifle finally going to be useful? That actually worked fairly well. For the first time ever, the beam rifle is useful. Uh -oh. Such a slow reload. <coughs> nice try sneaking up on me. Here he 
comes. Here he comes. Oh, I... What the... He's right in front of me and I can't hit him? Craziness. Crazy craziness. Well, since that one is doing so well, let's see if our little defiler gun will do any... do anything useful. No, maybe not. Alright, wait for them. Doing okay. Beam rifle's doing okay. Backwards. What is that? Where? Where? Oh, that? Oh, damn. Stay down. I don't actually know what that is. Pretty vulnerable to the radiation damage, so that's pretty cool. Going through ammo really fast, though. Sure, which way to go? I was trying to go this way. I still hear music. I feel like something's still after me, but I don't see it. Oh. Slug creature. Ah, it's not dead yet. Need your ammo. Give me that ammo. Thank you. Well, this is a fun place. And by fun, I mean terrifying and dangerous. We finally learned where to use the beam rifle. Uh, it's got a range. Definitely has a range modifier on it. Definitely better at short range than long range. Or medium range, at least. Okay, moving onward. Well, I think I see a blue thing in there. Let's go get that. Full ammo. Definitely want that. Forged iron. Definitely want that. Oh, that's a purple thing. 
it's not a blue thing, it's a purple thing. It's a devouring loot. The Vix Worm is insidious. It will take from you slowly, gradually. Then, without warning, it will swallow you whole. Critical hits have a 60... S oh, a 6% chance to deal four times damage. Yikes. As opposed to the Mother's Ring that I was wearing, which does what? Reduces incoming range damage. Well, let's try it. Let's try it out. Doesn't seem that great. I'm not a big fan of, you know, things that increase a chance. I like, I like certainties. I don't like chances. Here's an item over here I missed. Can I get that from this side? Yes. Plain old iron. making that chittering noise. Oh, you probably. Stay down! Well, that worked pretty well. Alright, here we go. Heading north. I think it's north. There's a door. Ooh, that looks like a labyrinth door. I don't know that I have a key for that. I don't think I do. I have nothing but a key card. Okay, we can't go that way. Now we know we cannot go that way. We must find a key before we can go through that door. How delightful. A delightful key must be found. And presumably the key is found in completely the opposite direction. Among this area. I guess I'll skirt the left-hand wall here. Hello, I'm looking for a key. Do you have a key? You don't have a key. Oh my, we're right in front. Else wants a base of this. Holy hell. What? What foul beast was that? Looked like one of those things from from the Phantom Menace. I forgot what they're called. I want to say grundles, but I don't think that's right. <laughs> Grunkins? I don't think that's right either. Uh -oh. I'm being surrounded. Oh, there's a yellow door. Oh, it's over. Oops. Only temporarily it's over. Because we're about to go into the thick of it again. Heading toward this yellow door. Yes! Which is presumably where we need to go. Alright, so we know there's a yellow door here. Maybe we should look around... Just, just in case, just in case we find a key, just laying out here in the world, as unlikely as that might be. Man, this rifle is kicking some buttocks right now. 
I am liking this rifle now. I hated it before, but now I like it. <laughs> now it's just chewing through these guys. I'm gonna go back and upgrade it, I believe. All right, have I been through here yet? I should probably check out each one of these little faces. That's all you've got! guys. Let's reload. Get a little closer. Shit! Ah. Oh wow, we woke everybody up. And dodge. Okay, we waited until everybody's right on us. That's good job. Good job. Probably a Oh god. Heal. Oh god. We gotta kill him before we can heal. Okay, we're just running right into more and more of them. Stay down! Yeah! Yeah. Wow. All I had to do was go through that yellow door and I would have had the whole place cleared. That's all I had to do. All I had to do was just go through the yellow door. <laughs> well, now we know where the yellow door is. Um, so the one on the north side was the key gate. I wonder if I can just run all the way to that yellow door. It seems unlikely, but... Let's give it a shot. Because I don't really want to fight all these guys again. I don't feel any compelling need to do that. Unless I have to. Which, I mean, I might have to. I might, once I get to the door, I might have to... Um... Uh, little choice because I feel like I'm not going to be able to open the door in in time. I can feel them breathing down my neck. Okay. Okay. Took some damage there. Come on now. Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. Get in there. Yes! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> I didn't think that was going to work. Yes! Let's rest at the checkpoint. And... The shack is where we are. Well, I was about to say, and go back to civilization and upgrade this weapon. The butcher's bothy, butcher's bothy. Is there a boss here? Is it a boss, or is it an NPC? I was thinking it was an NPC. Hey, can you make me a cool weapon? 
Ugh. Or do I have to kill you? Oh, there's a red fog door there. We're laughing at me. Oh, wow. Wait, I don't understand. There aren't hundreds of ads. Something must be wrong. Oh, there's the hundreds of ads. Okay, I, I knew there was... I thought... Wow. Okay, well, that was fun. So... Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. It's down to another boss fight, is it? Let's try... Oh... The very good boy is a weapon mod. Interesting. I'm gonna try the coach gun. I mean, this is going to be a terrible idea, but I'm going to try it anyway. This is just going to be the worst idea. Kill the unclean one. even if we do heal. Coach Gun doesn't seem that great. Well, I think we're in another situation where we gotta just sort of... gut it out. Grind it out. And just keep throwing ourselves at it until we get the right combination of random factors that allows us to defeat this guy. Oh my god. Okay, so don't turn your back on this guy. You gotta face that guy. And, uh... Do not turn your back on him. Because <laughs> he will mess you up. Try one more time. The problem is... Kind of have to, uh... Oh, wow, that's... Okay, don't turn your back on him. Okay, yeah, this is, this is not going well. Alright, well, we're gonna do another, uh... Boss fight death montage video coming up next <laughs> because I gotta put on YouTube videos and you know gotta gotta distract myself from thinking about these boss fights because they're just so irritating in every way. Alright, I'll be back. <laughs>